some more thoughts about Brett Kavanaugh and particularly about the society that the Brett Kavanaugh story reflects. I want to talk a little bit about Ari Fleischer. Now, Ari Fleischer, for those of you who don't remember this unfortunate human being, Ari Fleischer was the press secretary for President George W. Bush during the uh, pointless, needless, uh, hawkish, uh, life-destroying, wealth-destroying invasion of Iraq. Uh, and Ari Fleischer so far has not been rehabilitated and made a hero by Democrats and the quote-unquote resistance. I guess he forgot to give Michelle Obama a piece of candy on TV, so nobody is really thinking of him as a hero yet. But believe me, they will, and they shouldn't. And I'll tell you, there are a lot of reasons for it, including the fact that when people were, were protesting the Iraq War uh, and they were trying to frighten the entire country with the specter of terrorism, he said, people better watch what they do and say. I mean, this guy is Orwellian. But of course, uh, it just takes a piece of candy to change all that. In the meantime, let's think about what Ari Fleischer had to say, because I think it's so instructive. We got a clip of what Ari Fleischer had to say in talking about the accusations against uh, Brett Kavanaugh by Dr. Ford, uh, the ag accusations of uh, sexual assault. And to be fair, he prefaced it by saying, I want to say this with extreme sensitivity. Uh, and then he had this to say. But high school behavior, mm -hmm. how much in society should any of us be held liable today when we've lived a good life, an upstanding life by all accounts, and then something that maybe is an arguable issue took place in high school? Should that deny us chances later in life, even for a Supreme Court job, a presidency of the United States, or you name it? Yeah. How accountable are we for high school actions when this is clearly a disputable high school action? Yeah. That's right. So, okay. Okay, so that's the question. So how accountable are we for high school actions or accusations of high school actions? How much in society should any of us be held liable today when we lived a good life and upstanding life by all accounts? Okay, now let me ask you to conduct a thought experiment and it's a risky one and it's, and it's an edgy one, but go with me on it if you would for a second. Let's leave women and gender out of the story. Let's say that Brett Kavanaugh had been accused by somebody of torturing a dog in high school. Let's say that somebody said that Brett Kavanaugh went up to a dog, closed its muzzle so that the dog couldn't breathe, kept the dog that way for a period of time and tried to do some, doesn't have to be sexual, tried to do something to the dog and then be in his drunken state he fell over and the dog got away. Now let's say that that was a story that we were hearing about Brett Kavanaugh. I'm willing to bet you that a lot of people who are dismissing this story uh, wouldn't dismiss it if it were about a dog, but they're dismissing it because it was about a 15-year-old girl. So think about that for a second. What kind of society do we live in where people have less empathy for a 15-year-old terrified girl who, according to the story, was being forcibly held down and prevented from breathing so that she could be sexually assaulted, and again, allegedly, but uh, what kind of person would then say uh, about a dog rather than a human being? How much of us should any, how much should in society should any of us be held liable today when we lived a good life? We would view a dog torturer, a cat torturer, a pet torturer as a monster. We would say, God, we want to know if this guy is that kind of a horrible human being. But because it's a girl and he was a boy, everybody feels differently about it. There is something broken about our empathy machine and it has everything to do with what it means to be a woman in this society. It has everything to do with the power dynamics between men and women in the society and it also has everything to do with the ruthless and debased cynicism of Republicans and conservatives who want to see their guy in the Supreme Court at all costs, no matter what he did to this young girl. You know, it sickens me. It should sicken you. Brett Kavanaugh has already disqualified himself by his apparent perjury on other issues. But the very fact that this is an open question, the abuse of a young girl, and it wouldn't be an open question about a pet, is tragic and disgusting.